Hey guys, today we are setting up Home Assistant on our Raspberry Pi 4 using Docker. I've decided to go with the containers installation method, mainly because we're using that Raspberry Pi 4 as our home media server and a bunch of other things as well as Home Assistant. And it's really nice to just logically separate these kind of things out into their own logical containers. Also, I didn't want to change the default operating system image that we used during our initial setup. With that being said, let's hop over to our Raspberry Pi and start the installation process. I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder where we are going to store our Home Assistant config. And we're going to create a new file called compose.yaml, which is going to be our docker compose file. We're going to go ahead and open that up in a text editor, and we are going to paste the following config in. We're going to update this file path to that new folder that we created. Essentially, this is just going to be the section where it will keep all of our config for Home Assistant. Paste that in there. And I'm also going to update the country flag to AU. Not too sure about this flag, so I'll leave that as is. We'll go ahead and save that file. We'll open up a terminal window and we'll navigate to our folder. And we're going to go ahead and run this command, docker compose up minus D. This will go ahead, pull down the required files, and it should launch our Docker container. Okay, that took a while, but it's up and running. You'll notice that it's created a bunch of configuration files. So home automation, you can either manage through the GUI, the user interface, or you can do everything through YAML configuration files. I'm yet to learn the intricacies of their YAML configuration, so we're gonna go ahead, keep it simple, and use the user interface. We can access the server on port 8123. So we're going to go ahead and open up a web browser. And we're going to go localhost on that port 8123. It was a bit laggy doing that remotely, so what I'm going to do is open up a web browser on my local PC. We're going to type in the DNS name of my Raspberry Pi, which is home.local, and we're going to go to that port 8123. That brings up the exact same admin portal. We're going to go ahead and create my smart home, create a user account, and chuck in a password. Go ahead and type in your address. For the purposes of this, I don't want to give my exact address, but let's just go Melbourne, Australia. Normally, I don't enable any of this, but I'm gonna go ahead and send anonymous usage statistics in the hopes that they can make the product even better. Automatically, it has found a few devices on my network, so we're going to go ahead and click Finish. It's picked up a few devices, but not everything, and that's pretty cool. We can see that my kids are watching Netflix in the bedroom, my wife is watching Netflix on the living room TV. One of the lights that I have in my office, I can maybe toggle on and off? Yeah, that's cool. I want, I want to show you guys this. so. There is the button, and there are the lights. On, off. That is all completely out of the box. I haven't had to do a thing to enable that. Home Assistant is set up with what they call dashboards. So on the left hand side where it says overview, that's a dashboard. Energy, that is another dashboard, as well as maps. And essentially our end goal in a future video is to create different dashboards to give us different information or views. So we might have one dashboard for when we wake up in the morning. We might want to know what the weather is, what's the status of our battery, what's a commute into work like. Any usable information that may help us throughout our day. The sky is the limit when it comes to this kind of stuff. Now, one of the final things we have to do is, while it did pick up some of the things automatically, we do have a notification down here in the bottom left hand corner, where it's discovered some additional devices, but they need configuration before we can use it. So let's go ahead and click on that button. We're now brought to our integration screen where we can see the different things. We can then go in, click on each, and configure it to start using it. To configure, you simply click the button and go submit. 
Uh, yeah, so we'll put it in the office and go finish. That's pretty cool. Now that we've configured those devices, they pop up in our office tab. I can simply click a button and have all of my lights turn on and off automatically. We'll go ahead and click the button and it turns everything on and off automatically. That's extremely cool. I finished setting up all my devices and like I can control my TV, all my lights, every internet connected device that I have in my household at a click of a button, lights off, lights on. Like automatically with no effort involved. I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. That's gonna conclude the setup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna go away, muck around for a bit, and I'll come with a new video on all the possibilities of things we can automate and do in the future, as well as possibly improve the styling and theming of our dashboards. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Me.